All right, let's get our calculators out and play some number games with the idea of elasticities. We're going to start out with this whole idea of percentage change because in elasticities we're using percentage changes as our measurement. How do you calculate the percentage change between two numbers? Technically it's the difference between the two numbers divided by, and this is our methodology in economics, divided by the average of the two numbers. Here's an example. Suppose our number changes from 20 to 30. How much of a percentage change is that? Now you may have learned in middle school that from 20 to 30 the percentage change is 10 divided by wherever you started 20. Or if you went from 30 to 20 your percentage was 10 divided by wherever you started 30. So you got two different answers depending on which number you start at. In economics we use what's called the midpoint formula. We want a consistent answer whether you're increasing from 20 to 30 or decreasing from 30 to 20. And to do that we take the difference between the two numbers, 20 to 30, that's 10 is the difference, and divide that by the average of the two numbers. Add them together, divide by 2, you get the average. 20 plus 30 is 50, 50 divided by 2 is 25. And so we would say in economics that the percentage change here is 10 divided by 25, which is a 40% chance, 40% uh, change, or just 0 0.40. What we want to remember as we're doing these percentage changes is you take the change divided by the average. Keep that in mind as we go along. Now let's go back to some demand curves we looked at a while ago. You remember these guys? Okay, We had a demand curve number one that had a pretty steep slope to it and we had a demand curve, demand curve number two, that had a pretty shallow slope to it. We want to calculate the price elasticity of demand for each curve and we want to do that price elasticity of demand between the prices of nine dollars and six dollars. So we're going to calculate the price elasticity on D1, we're going to calculate the price elasticity on D2 and we'll see the difference in them. Okay, let's, let's go through the numbers. Remember one is elastic and this, the other, the steep one, is inelastic. Here we go, calculating the own price elasticity. Remember what I said. The price elasticity of demand for good X is the percentage change in the quantity of X demanded divided by the percentage change in the price of X. That's our standard formula. Percentage change quantity divided by percentage change price. And remember how we do percentage changes, right? The percentage change in quantity is the change in quantity divided by the average quantity. Does that look familiar? and the percentage change in price is the change in price divided by the average price. Let's put the numbers in there for de de demand curve number one. What are we looking at here? Percentage change in quantity, we'll calculate that first. The quantity changed from 15 to 12, so we take the difference between the two, 15 minus 12, and divide that by their average. And To find the average we add them together, divide by two. 15 minus 12 is 3. 12 plus 15 is 27 divided by 2 is 13 and a half. 3 divided by 13 and a half is 0.2222. Okay, if you go through that carefully, be sure you've got it. That's the quantity element. Okay, now let's do the percentage change in price. What do we get here? The change in price from 9 to 6 divided by the average price. Add the prices together and divide by 2. The change was $3, and the average price, 9 plus 6 is 15, divided by 2, is 7.5. So 3 divided by 7.5 is 0 0.4000. So now, to get the calculation for the price elasticity of demand, it's the percentage change in quantity, 0.2222, divided by the percentage change in price, 0 0.4000. When you do that quick division, you get 0.5555. We usually round that off to two decimals. And so we would say the price elasticity of demand between prices of nine and six dollars on demand curve number one is 0.55. Okay? Let's look at demand curve number two. Here we saw that the quantity changed from 30 to 12 
or from 12 to 30. It really doesn't really matter which direction you go. So the percentage change was the change, 30 minus 12, divided by the average. This gives us 18 divided by 21, which is 0 0.8571. And then percentage change in price, same one we did before, because we're talking about the same price change, 0 0.400, triple zero. And so to find the price elasticity of demand, percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price, in this case we get 2.1429. All right, make sure you follow the math there quick point to remember. We'll reiterate this in a minute. When price changes don't make much difference to the buyers, which is what we saw in that steep demand curve number one, when you calculate the price elasticity of demand, it will be a number less than one in absolute value. Remember these are all negative numbers, but we're ignoring the negative when we take the absolute value. So on demand curve number one, we had an inelastic demand and here on this slide on demand curve number two, our coefficient is 2.1429, clearly more than one. And when we calculate that coefficient to be greater than one in absolute value, we're going to say it's an elastic demand. So we're using the numbers here. Let's uh, reiterate a couple of points here. The coefficient for the price elasticity of demand E sub D is always a negative number. Why? Because when price goes down, quantity demanded increases. So you get a positive over a negative change or a negative over a positive change. So you've always got a negative divided by a positive or a positive divided by a negative. The coefficient will always be negative. When we want to talk about its relatively el relative elasticity, we ignore the negative sign. We take the absolute value. And we find that if that coefficient in absolute value is less than 1, then we have an inelastic demand, 0 0.22, 0 0.45, 0 0.79. And if that coefficient, after you calculate it, is greater than 1, then you have an elastic demand, as we did in demand curve number 2. All right, let's continue to march here. Revisit this. Here's another example. We've got the results of a study from data in 1985, where we saw gasoline prices go from $1.50 to $1.60. Calculate the price elasticity of demand when we know the change in consumption of gasoline. What are we going to do? Percentage change in quantity over percentage change in price. What happened to the quantity? It went from 4,500 to 4,200. That's a 300 unit change divided by the average of the two. Remember, add them together, divide by two. We get 300 over 4,350. Next, we do percentage change on price, and to do that, we see the price went from $1.50 to $1.60. The change was $0.10. Cents. The average price was $1.55. Put these together, easier to convert them into decimal format, 0 0.0689 divided by 0 0.0645. Our answer is approximately 1.07. Round it off. Now, is this an elastic or an inelastic demand? The coefficient in absolute value is greater than 1, so we would say that demand reflects an elastic demand.